What's up gang? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? I'm Destiny. Welcome to the EXO gang. Don't forget to subscribe before the end of this video so you can see more videos and more of my face. Yeah, I never know how to do that part, but I digress. So today I have a very highly requested video and that is Destiny, can you create a video that will show me how to contour because I have a round face or I have an oval face and I just don't have any cheekbones and it's really hard to tell where to, you know, put that contour, where to put that highlight. That is my life. Like sometimes, you know, you do your makeup and you're like, does my contour go right here or does it go down there? Does it go right here? Does it go right there? What about my highlight? Do I take it out? You know, what type of shape I should use? So. I'm showing you guys how I contour and how I highlight. That was a really long message for something very simple. But today I am also trying some new brushes. These are actually from Amazon and they're only a little bit over $20. It's a 10 piece set and this is by the brand Cleoff. And guys, just look at these. Just a few things I love about these brushes. Um, one, you get that really nice streak free airbrushed effect. Two, you, you will use half of the product that you normally use. In this video, you'll see that with my contour and also with my highlight, you know, I put on the normal amount I, that I would put on if I'm using my blendy, beauty blender or if I'm using a regular brush. And when I started using these, it was like, wait, hold up, I used way too much. You can specifically see that with my contour part. That's why it's really like, you know, super popping today. Um, but yeah, don't forget to say what's up down below in the comments and also follow me on Instagram and also Snapchat. I'll talk to you beauties later. Of course, I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm using Max Fix Plus. I'm going to make sure this is dry. And then I'm going to apply the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is a new product for me. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it, but as I use it throughout the month, I'll let you guys know how I feel. I'm using the Anastasia Stick Foundation in Espresso to even out my complexion. I've been using this for a few months now and I like it. It's easy to apply and it's fairly long lasting. To correct, I'm using the MAC Peach Luster, of course. This is a seasoned product for me, of course. I absolutely love it. To blend out my foundation, I'm using the second largest brush in the set. Look at these dense bristles, guys. These are why it's so easy to apply product evenly and streak-free, and the bristles are also why you'll use less product. To further conceal dark marks and hyperpigmentation, I'm using this concealer by Makeup Forever and it's waterproof and full coverage and this is in the color chocolate. I'm going for a really nice and smooth base. I like to use this brush from the set to smooth this product out really quickly. Guys, this is the best highlighting concealer. This is in the color 08 and 09, and this is the NYX HD foundation concealer, I mean. I like to take the highlighter low by the nose and raise it as I go further out toward the end of the eye. This is the ideal shape if you don't have any cheekbones or if you have a very oval and round face it'll give you the illusion of high cheekbones i like to use a smaller brush when blending out my highlight concealer so i can really control where the product goes and just look how smoothly this is this is blending out But yeah guys, I really love these brushes. They're vegan friendly and the shape of the handles and brush heads contour the curves of the face perfectly as you can see.
To contour, I'm using the Black Up Contour Stick, and this is in the color 03. To add depth and the illusion of sucking cheekbones, you want to apply your contour right under your highlight concealer, so a bit higher than you normally would. I'm using this brush to blend out my concealer and guys if if you don't use these brushes for anything use them for contouring it, it again the shape of the brush head contours your cheekbones even if they're not very existent perfectly these smaller brushes come in handy so perfect for getting that perfect nose contour so once you have all of your creams and your liquids blended out you don't want to forget to set them with powder i use my mac mineralized skin finish finish in medium to set my highlighted areas and I'm using the largest brush from the set in my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NW50 to set the rest of my face. No name off the drug, no name quickly, telephone delight, love is all I need. Now I have to add the finishing touches. The highlighter I'm using is Opal by Becca and I put so much of this stuff on. You cannot go wrong with too much highlighter. There's no such thing as too much actually. <laughs> I like to contour my lips with a dark pencil and then apply a nude gloss for a nice glow. And it really makes a difference as you can see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to thumbs it up and share to help a friend and I'll talk to you babies later. Bye.